What is up everyone, this is Sol with a handful of add-ons to recommend for patch 9.1. Your support is very much appreciated, so if this video is to your satisfaction, please, I encourage you to like it, and consider subscribing for more of this and all things Warcraft. Today's add-on video is going to include a mix of oldies and new entries, add-ons big and small, but mostly small, with a bit of focus on quality of life perks and upcoming 9.1 content. I've tested all of these add-ons here on the PTR, see, you can see the bug reporter thing, and I am shooting this footage uh, semi-live, so excuse the kind of uh, scuffed talk, haha. -ha. So here we are in the PTR with all the add-ons installed. They're all installed and active and ready to go. So we will appropriately start with this thing, Aardvark. It is an auto-selling add-on with a simple, if not very uh, kind of out of place and an immersive interface. But all you need to do is uh, select one of these uh, lists here. You could either select a global sell list or a destroy list or a, um, like a specific Kind of character list and then simply drag and drop whatever items that you want to put in there and then from there just go ahead and mount up and all of my availed augment runes are well gone um, on top of whatever grays that i've had so let me let me get those back here's what's really cool though let me close my awful awful inventory and open up the uh, adventure guide get this thing out of the way and go to uh let's say we'll just go to one of these dungeons over here uh, recently, the author added a really cool update to the dungeon and raid journal. If you go to the loot table of an instance or a boss, I'll just go straight to the loot table here. Uh, you can see aardvark buttons right over here. You can add, basically what you can do, you can add an entire loot table with just a few clicks. Like I'll do it right now, like boop. And then you can see that it's been added to my global, well, my global destroy list in this case. Now sometimes, like let's say if we want to look at, oh, something like a raid, I'll just go to Nathria and uh, you go to a place, you, you go to a loot table that's like really big, it might take a number of clicks for it to populate. There might be some lag, you might get an error message, so you might need to press the button a number of times, but in this case, it seemed to work out just fine. Awesome. But what I love about this is that it's just like a super, super fast way to prepare yourself for farming old instances. And you can get rid of these janky items straight away. Right over here on the side, you see this, uh, these little bags right here. This is Soulbind Cash Opener. It displays the little goodie bags that you get from your mission table or event chests. It's really helpful and obnoxious too. So <laughs> with a click, you can just get these bags open straight away so they don't have to bother you. Uh, except for that one, that one happens to be a bug and so is that one. Great, PTR. Thank you. Anima Shortage is a name that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's an add-on that informs you of just how much anima, uh, right over here, it informs you of just how much anima uh, that you have, but you haven't really processed it or put it into the reservoir. So it's really good for eyeballing how you're doing and how full your inventory is with the stuff, because in 9.1, you're going to be a little bit farther away from your sanctum than before. Auto Quest Tracking Manager is a newcomer that you can't really see here, or you can't really see it in action, but all it does is just auto track all the quests that you might have uh, in a zone when you enter that particular zone. Now this can be a little bit cumbersome for people who prefer to have a very important quest tracked as a reminder, but for the rest of you, hey, here's a thing that might help you out. Glass, which you can kind of see over here as I mouse over it, is a really clean chat add-on that quickly became a favorite for its faders. It, it does a really good job of staying out of the way, and it has a nice clean animation when the chat is moving along. Moving on, let me open up uh, this menu here. Uh, Blizzmove. It, Blizz move should pay me for how much I bring it up. It lets you move the default windows all willy-nilly like this. It lets you resize them, make them bigger, or make them even smaller. Uh, and it's compatible with most UI-based add-ons like LVI. Auto loot helps you loot faster. I'll show you. I click, and then I don't even see the loot uh, menu, and that's pretty much it. That's that's the add-on. There are a lot of add-ons that are similar to these, though, and it's included in a whole bunch of different add-on suites, such as Leatrix Plus. But if you don't happen to have any of those, uh, well, I've been using this one for quite a while, and it works just fine. Uh, since we're out here, uh, you can see uh, the nameplates here. Uh, I'm using Plater. 
which happens to be working right away with 9.1. Um, you're seeing a default skin, so don't give me too much trouble for the lack of style, but this did quickly become a favorite nameplate add-on for its versatility and its options and the community behind it. There are plenty of different kinds of skins that you can download if you are very unimagin uh, unimaginative like me and are just kind of looking for a quick solution. The use of coordinates is starting to lose some of its relevance. Uh, more and more people are using map pins to identify locations of bosses and other interests, but it's nice to have a very simple add-on to display it in your map right over here for those just-in-case moments. And by the way, this thing is called coordinates, haha. <laughs> so of course I need to talk about map pins unlimited map pin distance, uh, it lets me make it so that I can see a pin well beyond the 1,000 yard limit. So let me uh, let me click a world quest over here all the way into Revendreth. And now what happens is that also I have this other add-on called Auto Trap Map Pin. It immediately makes my compass focus on uh, whenever a pin is created. So you can see really far away, 12,074 yards away actually, is that world quest that I want to do. Obviously that's very unpractical, but for places that are a bit further away than that thousand yard distance, it'll make things uh, much more easy to see without having to refer to my map or my mini map all the time. Moving on for the crafters who are about to make some like really, that's just funny. I added everything from Castle Nathria and I just sold all my Castle Nathria gear. Great going, Sol. Anyway, I was going to talk about buy them all. For the crafters who are about to make some serious bank selling consumables and legendary base pieces, buy them all lets you accurately buy a whole bunch of like whatever you need down to pretty much the single digits. You know, or if you want to buy a whole stack, or if you want to buy max stacks, and then, you know, you know, go ahead and then just watch the chaos as this thing fills up your bags and you watch in horror, you're like, oh, maybe I should close my inventory. In Corthia and the Mod, there's going to be a lot to discover and hunt for, including rares and treasures and puzzles and so much more. Rare Scanner has been my go-to for, oh, there we go. <laughs> It's been my go-to for broadcasting alerts that catch my attention, so I do advise picking it up. At the moment, it's like not fully updated with like all the locations, although you start to see them like kind of popping up here. Um, but the horn obviously works just Thank you, thank you, okay. Meanwhile, Torghast Tour Guide, while it hasn't been fully updated for 9.1, I don't think, it's been my favorite add-on for providing info and small perks, like uh, like including consumables uh, right here on the dashboard so I don't forget about them. Also, it provides its own sort of journal that includes information on rares and bosses and how all the anima powers work. And now while we're here, uh, let's talk about pretty things like Narcissus. It's like the ultimate screenshot making add-on. I just gotta like set up something really quick and get the 3D model and then, you know, boom, I can take a couple screenshots like uh, right over there or I can pause it and, you know, switch it to the frame, the exact frame that I want to or possibly maybe like a better looking pose. Like that looks all right. There's a newer scene to the add-on though that is called MV3D, which adds a button on top of a target frame and with a click, and I'll show you right here, uh, with just a click, it'll show you a close-up of the model uh, right over here. Now it works on NPCs or players, of course, and, or, or pretty much anything that you can select. Like, can I find an urn? <laughs> Let's see if I can find an urn really quick. Do you work on urns? Yes, it does. All right, I'm just about out of combat so I can speak to this just a little bit more. Like I would love to see uh, maybe a green screen option on something like this because right now it just has this very simple background or you just remove the background and it makes it look like I have, there's a giant, uh, a giant dude that's about to walk through the mod that looks quite frightening, but I'd love to see more. I think this add-on has a whole lot of potential. But now since we're kind of hanging out, so let's take a look at Wardrobe Enhanced. It adds some really cool features to the Transmog UI. Uh, it was recently updated, but and you might run into some small Lua errors, but I'm willing to overlook it and I'll show you why. Over here in the wardrobe, if you select a transmog, it's going to show you all the sources of this transmog, you know, complete with wowhead links and, 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 and everything. And it'll also let you find all the recolors. Let me try some, let me try clicking this thing right here. Uh, you can just hit find all recolors and it'll show you all the recolors and what you have and don't have with just a click. But here's what really got me. This thing lets you sort transmog by 
color wheel, which is right over here. Let me show you how it works. You just, you know, click the color wheel to, to pull it up and then you click and drag like so. And you can see all the uh, different transmogs that kind of match that color. And of course you can uh, select the slider here to change uh, the brightness and darkness. So you can see uh, and, and very easily sort just by color. Now, obviously, Transmog is more than just a getting a matching color set, but this wheel adds sorting and filtering that we haven't seen before. So big, big bravo to this author. I'm really, really impressed by this thing. There are a bunch of new followers and experience boosts and rewards coming to the mission table. In the battle between authors to create the most ideal mission table add-on, I think that I can conclude that Venture Plan is the definitive winner, at least for the time being. It just takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's been really, really accurate. I've, I've encountered maybe one failed mission in the months uh, that I've been using it. And off you go, guys. Bye. Follower missions timer right over here also lets you track the mission times and the availability on your account. This is obviously the PTR, as you can see all my paladins. So, so if you're mission table minded and you only use one computer for your WoW gaming needs, this is a really simple data broker to help keep your obsessions in line. And finally, let me find a person to give me a quest. Uh, we have this immersive questing add-on called Queso. Here's a person, and I'll show you how it works. You open, you know, you talk to a quest person, and then ta-da. So it adds a little bit of flavor when interacting with quest givers with a really smooth and easy transition from gameplay to a narrative style without uh, very sudden or jarring camera movements. Inclu and, and it includes little talking torsos here on the side. Sweet. And what better add-on to wrap all these up uh, with minimap button bag, which I actually just clicked on just a little while ago. It takes all the minimap buttons that you don't really want to see and it compresses it all into a little folder that you can collapse and expand uh, right over there. So I think we're at 20 or so add-ons and I think this is a good place to stop. And I hope that at least a few of these add-ons caught your eye. As always, we are here to help each other out with tips and suggestions, so if you've got your own, feel free to share them in a the comment below. I do hope you consider supporting the channel, but otherwise, thanks for swinging by. We'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.